sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Well, good morning all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land And welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead Today we are going to get to work I say that a lot, we're going to get to work because we got a lot of work to do around here. We got 11 acres of raw land. We're carving into a homestead. And we're doing a lot of it by hand. So, if you've been following along, you saw that a couple episodes ago, we came through these woods with a brush cutter on the end of our string trimmer and uh, thinned out a lot of the bushes, the brush, and the vines. Now, it's time to step it up a notch. We have a lot of saplings and very small immature trees that we are going to cut down and get out of here as well. And really start to clear out and open up this area where we hope to one day put our house. And if it doesn't work out that we can put our house there, then at least it'll be some open area for us to start getting some. We're going to start with chickens. And then one day when we get this place going good in a lot of open, cleared pasture lands, we're going to uh, step it up to uh, sheep. Lord willing. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and uh, glad you are here with us. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, do that. We're over there on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there too. And uh, it's time to get busy. That's about as far as we can go <laughs> with our side by side because uh, that's as far as we got cleared. Well, clear enough to get a side by side in. It might be hard to see because that sun's kind of harsh this morning, but we got to get all these little saplings and trees out of here so we can start carry carrying all of our tools with us as we go into the woods. And the further we get away from home base, the more we're going to need to have all of our tools and everything with us on the back of the side by side. It was about 46 degrees when I woke up this morning, but just getting everything ready. It's warming up a little bit and I'm getting hot. Ah, it's going to be a good day. Hey guys, everybody okay? No big deal, that was just a little baby sapling. I wasn't too worried about it. I had a feeling it might go that way.
I don't know how well you can tell the difference, but we are getting some of these trees down. It's really starting to open up. And we're just gonna keep on carrying our carrying on down towards the water eventually. But I really just want to open up this area more. I need to work that way more. A lot of these little trees gotta come out. And uh of course the more trees you cut down, the more mess you get on the ground. So right now it probably doesn't look like a whole lot, but uh, we're getting we're getting there. We're making progress, and uh, it's probably 50 degree 50 degrees by now, maybe not even that much. Uh, and I'm already sweating. Uh, getting it, man. We getting it. Uh, the video doesn't do it justice, guys. I wish you could see what I see. After we get all of the trees we can get down, down, I'm going to move on to the brush cutter and just get back on the little stuff. And then next time around, we'll get more trees. So thin out the brush, take down the trees. Thin out the brush, take down the trees. Thin out the brush, take down the trees. And it's, uh, it's coming along, guys. you can tell the difference because I sure can we are looking good see how much stuff is down on the ground we've cut a lot of stuff today and our view of the water is coming through we still have a long way to go well I am officially out of gas I was able to get two more tanks uh, out of the can that I had so uh, we got uh, got a good bit done um, just about in the nick of time too because I don't know if you've ever ran a chainsaw for a long time but it starts getting your your uh, traps start knotting up I need to take a break I need to stretch and uh, then I'm gonna go through here and kind of organize these piles of brush because uh, we can uh, part of what I was doing was also keeping in mind uh, trails for the four-wheelers and side-by-side -side so everybody can go riding so uh, I was kind of able to focus on some of that as well and I think we can turn some more of this into decent trails. You want to get it? Let's go for a ride. Let's see how our trails work out. Well, I got my quality control personnel here. They're going to go for a ride. We're going to try to take this side by side down the through the area that we just cleared. I wouldn't call it trails yet, but hopefully we'll begin. This will be the beginning of making trails, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm gonna sit on the side. Hmm. I had another wire before. This will probably spill. Yeah, I should probably finish my coffee before, before I hit the trails. I don't want you riding in the back yet. We're gonna um, go down these trails. It's gonna be a little bumpy. Daddy, what's this? I have no idea. We'll have to figure that out. I guess I've been in it. Oh, it opened. Hmm. Open up, see what it is. I don't even know what it is. I know that remote control runs the winch. Yeah. 
know what that is? No. That is good fire starter right there. You should pull some of that off and you should collect it. And then you should save it for when you want to make a fire. Some on the floor. What, buddy? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to put this in my bucket with a stick so I can uh -huh. take it up to the fire. Take it up to the fire and, yeah, put it in the fire pit. Uh -huh. And we'll start a fire later. You'll see that. Oh. Okay. You'll see that works really good. Yeah. You're such a big helper, Jessalyn. Thanks for helping me in the woods today, baby. You cut down so many things for Daddy. Didn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs>